There's been growing evidence that maternal pre-pregnancy overweight is associated with increased risk of offspring cardiovascular disease risk factors like obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, things like that. And so we wanted to see if this extends into increased risk of death and uh, events. And so what we found was that um, among offsprings whose mothers um, were overweight, that there was increased risk of cardiovascular disease events um, with a hazard ratio of 1.9, so a 90% increased risk. So we used two measures of what uh, a mother's weight was before she was pregnant. One is um, the, the offspring that we looked at, this was the second generation of the Framingham Heart Study. So the first generation of the Framingham Heart Study, there was actually women who were um, measured before that they were pregnant with an, uh, an, an assessment in the study. So those, those women were measured about two years on average before their pregnancy. The other group, we had um, the offspring reported their mother's overweight status before she was pregnant. So that's one of the limitations of our study that we had to rely on um, reported overweight status. So we actually didn't have any measures during um, pregnancy, just what, what, what it was before the pregnancy. And so I think the focus should be on um, trying to maintain kind of optimal cardiovascular health among young people before they go into their childbearing years. The, the children, the offspring in the study, uh, on average enrolled at the age of 30. So we followed them for 30, and this was around 1971 to 1975, and there was data, follow-up data until 2012. So they were followed on average for about 30 years. We measured the, the net association between the mother's overweight status and what the, the risk is. Um, but that's made up of many parts. It's kind of a multifactorial connection. Part of it is shared environment and learned behaviors. Uh, part of it is genetic inheritance. Uh, part of it may be related to the intrauterine exposure of high, um, obesity and maybe some epigenetic developmental changes. So um, we just measured the combined effect. But our, our future directions are trying to decompose that into its individual pieces. Um, there are other um, studies that have linked maternal BMI with increased risk of death, and they used administrative data. But what we were able to add was that we had um, the, the information about the offspring's risk factors throughout their lifespan. So we were able to adjust our estimates accounting for those risk factors. And that we showed that the, the risk was uh, attenuated, that it, that it became less when you, when you considered those risk factors, suggesting that a lot of the, the risk, a lot of the connection between the two is mediated by the offspring risk factors. The, the next immediate step is trying to um, break apart the, the relationship to see what the largest contributor is, as that might be um, an optima, uh, optimal area to intervene to try and reduce uh, the risk. So definitely um, keeping in mind the classical risk factors of high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes are, are, are extraordinarily important, and trying to reduce excess weight among young people before their childbearing years. And we're trying to see what components uh, play a large role, um, whether it's more environmental, whether we can kind of decompose some of that epigenetic effect.